everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We're across the pond in England this week, and two teams are hoping to show off for an international audience. It's the Giants going up against the Rams. So with that, let's send you out to legendary Wembley Stadium in London as we bring in our commentary team, Brandon Guy and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one, between the New York Giants and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They've got all W's on the ledger so far, a perfect 6-0. Yeah, still a long way to go in this season, but they're showing everyone early on that they intend to be there in the end. On the other side of the field for the visiting Giants, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. That'll be taken in the end zone. Here we go now with a look at the offensive starters for the New York football Giants. And Rashad Jennings, a running back, seventh round pick when he came out. People tended to overlook him a little. Eventually, big plays may result. Manning going left side, and he's got Denell. And now defense is talking about getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. I have it another sign that he's not going to need that marketing degree from Ole Miss anytime soon. No, not at all. I think what he has. Rashad Jennings, he's all alone. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And equals turnovers and this one winds up being intercepted surveying the field out on the right this is Cruz the defense here for the Rams I played college football at the same time as TJ McDonald's father Tim and what a great player he was TJ definitely is following in his father's footsteps they go play action for Jenny and now the ball comes out Manning lost it And Brown able to put it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. And now this is intercepted. There he goes, right side. A great read, and, it's, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Short down. Here's gone. Hard throw, incomplete. Very difficult for them throughout the half. To throw is gone. Got a man. It's his tight end, Lance Kendricks. Defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. Now gone. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendrick. Lineman, they play with great leverage so they can get low and get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Eluding the pressure right. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. His first career NFL touchdown. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead. Manning now on first down. And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. Time here in a 10-point game as we will send you back stateside to Orlando and say hello to Larry Ridley. He's got our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. And welcome to the EA Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Rams really played well last week, but that hasn't always been the case today. The Giants have done a good job upsetting their rhythm, and that shows on the scoreboard. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. 
Giants have it at the 25. Now, never mind, Larry. Forget your halftime report. Apparently, we are set for the third quarter of action already. Open receivers because they're able to squeeze the passing lanes down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. Barton, I know it's hard to believe, but some and when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now look out, Griffin hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And they have the football, and will set up shop at the 33. And the defense will try and pin their ears back and get pressure again here after the sack. It's third down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. To throw is RG3. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And that is incomplete. It wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's something that there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Looking for Austin intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the, the maturity of a veteran taken with a defensive given. They go play action here on first down. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Odell Beckham, his sixth touchdown of this. They've made it tough on him all game long. Here's Griffin. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one. Maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Unflappable Eli is with his demeanor, able to maintain his calm and his... And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sass. On first and ten, it's Griffin. Got his man over the middle. This is quick. In this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Escaping the pressure right. Muscles him off. Flush to his right. 15 yards there on the scramble and a first down. Depending on the temperament of the head coach, he's either turning to the bench and screaming, what was that all game? Or maybe he's just kind of keeping it to himself and saying, okay, it's something to build on and a positive looking for the two-point conversion. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short, and they'll come up empty on the try for... Well, as always, partner, an extreme pleasure to share a booth with you. I, I have to say, I am impressed at your discipline because you came here and you said you were not going to eat any of the media buffet. <laughs> you made it to the end. You didn't consume a single calorie. I appreciate that. What you missed is me going to the concession stand outside of your eyesight and getting it you done cheated. that way. Look, I mean, they were serving the good stuff. I had to do it. Oh, man, but you're, you're spelled in good shape, but yeah, you cheated a little bit. We'll let it slide. I appreciate that. Always a pleasure to work with you.